What's up guys, it's Max here. In this video, I'll show you how to make two different police light circuits that run off of a 9 volt battery. This one on my right hand uh, uses transistors and just has a very basic uh, blue to red and red to blue kind of uh, fade to it, so it switches pretty quickly. And this one on my left hand is a more complex one, but a more realistic one. So it's close to the ones that you see on modern police trucks these days. But this one uses two chips to basically control the switching and the blinking of the lights. Without further ado, let me show you how to make both of these police light circuits. Let's get started. First, cut a 3 by 4 centimeter piece of blank PCB. Then put all the required components in. Once you've put all the components into the PCB and bent all the pins accordingly, you're going to want to solder all the components in place. And in case you want to make this on a breadboard, here's the breadboard version of the simple police lights. And for the realistic police bar lights, you're going to want to do pretty much the same thing. Put in all the components and then solder them in place. The connections will follow up shortly. Since there wasn't enough space on the PCB for the LED connections, I had to solder on some overlapping wires.
for both of the police light circuits, be sure to solder on a couple of battery wires. I also made the realistic police light flashing circuit onto a breadboard for those of you who are planning to make this circuit on a breadboard. Now we're done making the two police light circuits. Let's take a look at how the more complex one works. So guys, let me explain to you the purpose of both of these NE555 timer chips. This chip over here works together with this 100 nanofarad capacitor or 100 NF capacitor and it controls the blinking of both groups of LEDs. And on the other side, you also have an NE555 chip with a 1 microfarad capacitor or 1 MF and uh, that controls the switching of the groups of LEDs. And the resistors here in the middle, if you're wondering, they just tune the oscillation frequency of both functions, the switching of the LEDs and the flickering. Okay everyone, that's about it for this video showing you how to make these two really awesome police light circuits. Now I like them both, but my personal favorite is this one, the bar LED light. It's harder to make, yes, but it's worth the effort. And this one is just a basic one, you know, if you don't have uh, the NE555 component, then this one's probably the one you'd go with. But uh, I'm probably going to mount these uh, police light circuits on my radio control cars. That's going to be a lot of fun to uh, watch a RC police car drive down the street. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I would much appreciate if you hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel with the notification bell ticked not to miss any of my upcoming videos. And feel free to give me a follow on my Instagram at max.imagination. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace!